Hey, hi everyone, Phil here and welcome to my family friendly channel. Today's question comes from Aiden who asks When you input Likert scale values, do you have to rank it as ordinal in the far box? Very good question. I've been meaning to answer this. A few people have asked this question in the past. I didn't make it clear in my first ever video on questionnaire data entry about um, this column here. So when you enter your type of data and you enter the values and missing and all this kind of stuff, unless you're using chart builder under graphs, you don't actually have to um, complete this. But as a newbie, it's a good idea to do that because when you are doing the stats analysis, let's just click this you've got these little icons here that kind of remind you what type of variable you have and so for some things like cross tabs where you are only allowed to use categorical variables if you've got a ruler beside it then it kind of reminds you oh I can't do cross tabs on that variable so just to show you that these things here show up every time you do an analysis let's go to description let's do cross tabs All right, you can see here the ruler showing up. I can still put them in or it's not going to make any sense and I can even run it. However, if I try to use chart builder, I'm going to have a problem if I want to if I want to do a kind of a a chart that's for categorical data when I have got variables that are not categorical. So let's say I try to do a pie chart, alright these are all rulers there, not categorical, let's try to drag it over slice by, you can see it won't do anything okay because pie charts are for categorical and these are not categorical but if I just kind of trick SPSS into thinking they are categorical it should work so let's just take one of them, let's say earn okay let's just change it here, it doesn't actually make sense to change it here, let's just change it or null and now let's do earn and you see if I drag it across it will allow it, me to do that now even though earning is not actually categorical I just tricked it. So the simple answer to your question is do you need to complete this is it's not necessary unless you're going to use the chart builder but as a newbie it's maybe it's a good idea because it clarifies in your mind what kind of variable you have in other m big stats packages like Stata you're not going to you don't have this kind of thing you don't have to tell tell it that you've got um, scale or categorical. Okay, anyway, that was a good question picked up on uh, in on one of my videos. So thanks for that, and hope that's been helpful. Ta-ta.